Hello and welcome. This is an essential guide to get you up and running with Lonely Land VR. I have no affiliation with the game or its developers, but I do hope to help you get acclimated from the very beginning with little to no frustration, particularly since from the onset of the game you are quite literally left out in the cold with no instruction whatsoever. Your goal is to maintain your health and sanity whilst surviving as many number of days as possible by gathering resources, crafting items, and surviving inclement weather and the many dangers lurking within the environment. This game is available on your smartphone in virtual reality and on the HTC Vive. I have been playing on the Vive. You do not maneuver around with any locomotion style mechanics, be it traditional or teleport. You instead interact with your environment by looking at things in order to use or pick them up. You do wield a gun and can shoot with your controller, or you can set it to shoot automatically using your look mechanics to fire instead. If you are on the Vive, play this game while recharging your other controller. You pick a location on the map adjacent to where you are to travel to that location in any of six different directions, but keep in mind that you can only move one hexagon away during the night. Each location transports you to a place where you can gather resources, use items, or choose to fight or flee an assailant, be it plant or animal. It limits you to looking ahead or to the left and right only, as there is a big rock behind you so that you are not always having to crane your neck to look around, which ultimately means you can play, preferably sitting down for long periods of time. If you are on your Android phone, for instance, you could potentially even play this one on the bus or on the train ride home. This game touches upon a lot of different gameplay elements, but if you do not mind the subpar graphics and particularly enjoy problem solving, then you are likely to enjoy this game. First thing you want to do is to find a town. Towns are indicated on the map by the Victoria Level Road. The further you venture out from your camp, the more dangerous it gets. You can gather resources along the way. In fact, it is a must. First and foremost, you need iron. With iron, you can make a pot and armor. These are the absolute essentials, and if you take nothing else away from this video, then let it be this. Riot armor will help you take 45% less damage, and with a pot you can cook food to top up your health quickly and efficiently. It probably should go without saying, but go back to camp often and at night and light a fire, which is also a good time to pull through the menus and familiarize yourself with what's what. Once you have a pot, the simplest way to acquire health is by finding and killing a rabbit. Rabbits can be found on random yellow shaded hexagons at certain times of the day. It also may not be immediately apparent, but if you see a rabbit disappear, it is because he has hidden in his nest. Wait for him to come out and move away before attempting to shoot him again. A few other bits and bobs when you collect resources, ensure to look at the picture of the resource to familiarize yourself with what it is because you won't find a description of it in your menus. If you stumble upon a clock, look behind it. Keep your eye out for a blue panel with an important message. You can regain sanity in any number of ways by staying close to your fire, by eating sugar, or better yet, by eating a donut. There is an oil lamp that you can craft so you can venture out at night, laying claim to further away, albeit more dangerous territories on the map. Remember the further you journey, better the rewards. Just remember to go prepared. Once you have developed enough expertise, this is where the real challenge begins. Juggling to stay alive all the while using your powers of deduction to improve upon your experience and longevity within the realms of the game. Good luck in your endeavours throughout Lonely Land VR. For more videos relating to the HTC Vive and all that good stuff, please feel free to subscribe below. Thank you for watching and have a resplendent day.